So with space between, it just puts the space between the two elements that are the direct children. Uh, but we do have a lot of other options. The have the start, which is the default of it lining up all on the, the that side, uh, or end where it's going to shoot off to that side over here, all grouped together, but moving it. Uh, the space between is probably the one I use the most often, where it just puts all the space in the middle, super useful. Uh, of course, with the space between, there is also space around. And this one's kind of weird in how it works because it's putting the space around each element. Uh, but you'll notice that like the space in the middle here looks bigger than the space on the left and the right. And because <laughs> this is happening because the way space around is working is it's taking all of the space and it's putting an equal amount around each element. So the space here is getting added to here and then here and then here. So the space in the middle is double what the space on the outsides were. This is what we had as part of the original Flexbox specification. And it's not what anybody wanted. What we wanted was the space to be equal between them. And that's why they added space evenly uh, a little bit later uh, because they listened to us. So that actually distributes the space evenly between all of your items, including on the outsides. So space between will only do it in between everything. Space evenly will also add it to the left and the right of the first and last element. And of course, the one I haven't looked at yet uh, is the nice and simple one, which can be very useful as well, which is center, which just puts everything right in the center. But in this case, we want to stick with our space evenly. Uh, not space even, yeah, uh, space between. <laughs> there we go. Uh, space between, get all the space in between our elements and have a nice navigation uh, that lines up with the edges of the rest of our content.